It's so good that I can have a chance just to talk with you. And I would like to first say, when we first started out together, it was Miss Sims as the principal at that time. And you were a teacher. I think that was in 2013 or the end of 2013. And after that, um, they sent you to the district office. And then Dr. Moore was our principal. But then after Dr. Moore left, I believe, if no mistake, um, it was Alana Prosser that was the principal after that. But then Alana had to leave. And then they sent you back to us. And you know, I was there the whole time that you were there. And we had a great time together. And I thank God that we were able to communicate together. We were able to be friends together. We were able to talk. And most of all, you know, you were the principal and I had great respect for you. We would laugh and talk, but still yet, I have great respect for you. And God has been using you to the most high. He has enabled you to help with the kids at school. You greet them every morning. You hug them because maybe somebody didn't get a hug that whole week, but you were their greeter to just say, good morning, how are you? You looking good today. And that's what a principal is supposed to do. But I thank God that he was able to do all of that for you. And while you about to begin another chapter in your life. Know that God is still with you, that he will never leave you nor forsake you, even though it may be rough at times and sometimes you have to go home and cry. But still yet in the morning, you can say, thank you, Jesus. I made it through another day. That's just how good God is. And he's been good to you. He has blessed you mightily. And it's, it's not over yet. It, no, it's not over because the best is yet to come. So I call you my daughter in Christ. You scribe on. Do what is right. Say that which is right. Even though we might not like it sometimes. But still yet, you say what, what is right. Because you got a job to do. And you got a God to glorify. I thank God for you for all the love that you have shown, for everything that you, you have shown to me. Because we, it's me, myself, and it was maybe just a few more that was there the whole time. And we thank God for that. And because of you, that's why I'm still at Main Street Elementary, because of the love that you show for so many. So I bid you Godspeed that you continue on and do do those things which are good because you have a job to do and I know that you will do it well because I always say if I have for anybody to talk for me to say something for me it would be you because you are a talker so I thank God for you and I will be praying for you all the time not sometime but all the time because it's good to always see your smiling face. You continue on and be blessed. Dr. Sharon Williams, what could I say about you? Better yet, this poem says it all. The epitome of a woman is the strength of her dignity, the stride in her walk, the inspiration from her voice, the love from her heart, and the dedication to her service. The resilience of her past and the beauty of her future. She embodies the essence of happiness through her smile and through her grace. She embodies excellence. A regal queen 
like no other, she is Dr. Sharon Williams. Happy National Festival per- Month. Hey, Dr. Williams, what's up? It's Mr. B here. I just wanted to take this time to say a couple of things to you. Um, first of all, I just want to thank you. Thank you for captaining this Main Street Elementary School ship in such a way that long after you're gone from here, the effects of your leadership will be felt for many, many years. I remember way back when uh, you came aboard and you had your first staff meeting back in the media center. And um, when I tell you, you came in like a wrecking ball, you came in like a wrecking ball. But your energy and your passion was much needed. You came here and you changed the culture. You let it be known that Main Street Elementary School would no longer be the redheaded stepchild in the district that we were not a lesser school. You instilled a sense of pride in us. You set the expectations for greatness. You laid the foundation for many students who have gone on and graduated and are are set to graduate now to make sure that they're college and career ready. You instilled in us a sense of pride, a sense of family, a sense of spirituality. And for that, I just thank you. I thank you for who you are. I thank you, thank you for being not only my boss, but also my friend. We've had a lot of conversations over the years, just me and you. And I just thank you for continuing to keep me inspired. Thank you for who you've been to these kids. And I will run through a brick wall for you any day of the week. So just thank you, Dr. Williams, again, for everything that you've meant to me, to us at Main Street. and. I pray that God continually blesses you with so much that you'll never have room for all of his blessings. Love you. Take care. Hi, Dr. Williams. I just want to say happy, happy, happy Principal Week. You are a wonderful and gorgeous people. I am so happy that I had the opportunity and still got the opportunity to work for you. You are amazing, amazing person. I've learned so much from you. And even though I'm transitioning to the district office, you know, I'm still here. I thank you for everything that you have done for me and my family. You're number one in my book. Congratulations and happy, 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 happy principal week. Happy Principal Month, Dr. Williams. I want to first say thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I've only been working with you for maybe about three months now, and it has been the best three months I've uh, I've had in a long time in education. I definitely appreciate your knowledge, your wisdom, um, and everything you bring to Main Street Elementary. I have already learned so much, and so many new tools have been added to my toolbox. I look forward to adding even more for the remainder of this school year. I appreciate you. I thank you. I mean, just the relationships you have with the students, with the staff, the just, I just love being here. Main Street Elementary has definitely been so welcoming and I know it starts with you. So thank you for making this the best few months so far. And I am so excited just to see what the rest of the school year entails. You are an awesome leader. You deserve this month, and not only this month, but every month for all that you do. And for in and out, staying late, coming in early, we appreciate you. And I, I'm looking forward to learning much, much, much more from you um, throughout this year. I go home and reflect, and sometimes I feel like it's just so much to write. I don't even know how to even write it down. Just by being under you of learning so much and trying to keep up with everything. But thank you for being such an awesome leader and uh, to learn under, so supportive, giving that feedback to me and not only just to me, to others, to help us to grow, to become better uh, educators. So thank you, Dr. Williams. Enjoy your month. Happy Principals Month, Dr. Williams. Thank you for wanting me to be here with you all at Main Street Elementary. I have truly been enjoying my time here and your leadership 
is just phenomenal. I enjoy coming to work every day, working with you all. Your legacy that you have began here at Main Street Elementary has been truly extraordinary. And we will continue to lead the way and strive to be great at 318 as we continue to trailblaze with you on this legacy of leadership. Happy Principals Month. Dr. Williams, Doc, as I like to call you, Sunshine, Happy National Principal Month. You know, this is football season. Let's discuss stats. You know, what, what do your stats look like? You are not the Dak Prescott, the Lamar Jackson, the Patrick Mahone, the Jay Hurts, the Russell Wilson, Lamar Jackson, nor are you Joe Burrows. You are the best, the greatest of all times. You are like the Tom Brady of Main Street. You have turned this school around. What do your stats say? Your stat says you have been nominated two years out of my five years of being at Main Street Elementary School. You have brought this school from below average to average in my five years of being at Main Street Elementary School when you started this process about 2016-2017. Last year you have one of the highest earned scores since you've been here, earning average at a 50 with about 330 students. So your work speaks for you. Better yet, Florence School District long reigning principal of one particular school. You haven't been moved, shifted, or left the district. You have stayed at Main Street Elementary School where it is great at the 318. So therefore, Dr. Williams, your stat speaks for itself. That's why all of us get up every day especially me, to come to school to work under your leadership. And as you know, I got probably about the most amount of earned sick leave in this school. And I still sometimes refuse to take those days because of the atmosphere and the environment in which I come to work in. So therefore, I say thank you for being great at the 318, but now you about to be great beyond the 318 as you embark on this new journey that you're about to give up an opportunity to in the future. So thank you, Dr. Williams, for all that you do for Main Street Elementary School. We love you. Shotty Duke Hey, Dr. Williams, what an adventure that you and I have been on for over 10 years now. It's hard to believe that we both met down the hall here at Main Street Elementary School as teachers. I consider it nothing less than an honor and a blessing to have been able to partake on your journey with you. Thank you for believing in Main Street when no one else did. Thank you for telling us every day to believe in ourselves and believe in our students. Your leadership is a testament to what belief, God, hard work, and perseverance can do. As you prepare to celebrate the rest of the month in whatever way that may be, know that the legacy that you have left here not only at Main Street Elementary School, but in the community of Greater Lake City will continue. The marathon continues. Continue to allow God to use you to be all the things we need. Cheerleader, encourager, counselor, leader, but the biggest, a visionary. Happy Principal Appreciation Month.